What's up people, it's me, Second Stage. And today, kind of a combination between Let's Play and a video game review of one of the best games ever created here on this earth, on this planet, Earth Defense Force 2017. This game is seriously badass. If you haven't played it yet, if you have a 360, you should definitely check it out. You will love this game. You will love this game, definitely. Also has a two-player mode. Yeah, it sadly doesn't have an online multiplayer mode. But since I'm a m more of a fan of, you know, local un uh, multiplayer, it's actually works for me. <laughs> you have to think long and hard, not really. It's actually, you know, enough, you know, to use an assault rifle and rocket launch, in my opinion. But that's just me. Yeah, there's all the missions. You know, you get, believe it or not, like fifty-three missions. They're basically, you know, a lot of them, you know, basically the same. You know, kind of the, the level structure changes from time to time, but they are basically all the same. You know. The main thing here is just to blast your enemies away. Yeah, let's let's do it on normal. Because when you you have like five difficulty levels, if you play it on the hardest difficulty level, it's almost impossible, you know. The enemies are so strong and there's so much of them it's it's unbelievable. You have to play it on um, multiplayer mode. But let's check out this cutscene here. It's just awesome cheesiness. A giant disco ball of doom! Oh my god! That's Theons! <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't think that they're uh, here just to ask for milk. Oh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, your sword rifle. Th th those are actually the two weapons that I've used the most of the time in this game. I mean, the the other weapons are also cool, but they're also pretty gimmicky at the same time. Keep in mind, this is a low-budget title from a low-budget developer made in Japan. But this looks awesome, in my opinion. Even for a low-budget game that was made in... When was this game made? Uh, 2006. Unbelievable. When can you do this? You know, sh shooting civilians, you can't do this you know, on Call of Duty. And you can get away with that. We wanted that they <laughs> kind of... Can't, they can't even arm them. It's so cheesy. But just look at the uh, upper right on the radar. Um, see all the red spots? Those are the enemies. And if you haven't played, if you haven't saw Earth Defense Force before, just check those enemies out. Can you see them? Let me blast them away with a rocket launcher! Joint ends of doom. <laughs> well, which are bleeding green for some reason. In the Japanese version, as far as I know, they are bleeding red. I don't know why they are censored that. <laughs> but, but seriously, which game can you say you know? No matter if it's Call of Duty, Gears of War, or even Halo for that matter, that you're killing a bunch of ants with weapons of mass destruction. Seriously. <laughs> and when can you do this, you know? Look at this building, look at this building. Oh my god. Unbelievable. 
This is just cheesecake all over the place. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. This should be the main reason to get a 360, you know? I mean, if you if if you're watching, you know, a Godzilla movie with your friends, and afterwards you're playing this game. I mean, this is this is awesome. I mean, this is like the perfect party game, in my opinion. Who the hell needs Sing Star or Guitar Hero or Buzz Master Quiz when you have this kind of game that everybody can play? No. If you play it on the easiest setting, it's so easy, it's unbelievable. If you play it on the hardest setting, it gets hard as tits. And the controls are also very easy to grasp, you know. You basically control a character with the left analog stick and right analog stick you can aim. With the right stick you can shoot. With the right trigger, rather. And the left you can jump. And with the right bumper you can switch weapons. It's so easy. Everybody can play it. Just, this is this, this is one of this kind of the, one of those kinds of games that doesn't need you know any complicated control schemes or anything like that, and it works. Don't waste your bullets. Yeah, good, good one. Uh, you basically have infinite am uh, ammo here in this game. You see me reloading, you know, from time to time, but it doesn't have to say anything. That there are some weapons, you know, like some rocket launch, some very that some rocket launches which were s which are slow but they have a huge blast radius they have limited ammunition but other than that you know assault rifle and rocket launcher here that I have have you know unlimited ammo which is awesome it's unrealistic but it's awesome I mean how can you not like this game like I said graphic wise it looks actually pretty good So much fun. Okay, I will quit this mission here to uh, to show you another one, which is also unbelievable. Um, which one was it? I think it was this stage. I think it was this stage, which also was unbelievably cheesy and awesome all around. You know, we get all types of different enemies later on, like spiders and giant robots, even a giant ro mecha Godzilla. I mean, how can you not like this game? You really have to get this game if you have a 360. It's a pity that this game was never released for the PS3, but... Yep! Just look at this. Mass destruction and chaos. Holy shit. Yep. This is going to be f This is going to... Looks like a lot of fun. You know. Flamethrower um, is pretty useless actually in this game. Doesn't have the um, huge reach, but... Yeah. Look, somebody died. Yeah. This also <laughs> This happened, believe it or not. Now, I have to think how to kill this enemy again. It was a time since I played this game. Oh fuck. Shit. Look at the mass destruction. I think I have to shoot here. Oh my god. Reminds me, you know, of this, those old school bosses, you know, from back in the days with the, all kinds of weak spots. Oh my god, there's one of those robots. Those are serious business. And they're sometimes looking like they have a seizure. You'll see it later on, like they're seizuring out like crazy. I don't know if it's that the glitch or something, but it's crazy. <laughs> This is low budget people, okay? This is what you get what you get when you pay ten bucks, ten euros here in Germany. <laughs> Mass destruction all over the place. <laughs> 